Hello guys and welcome to episode 2 of the Orsha campaign on Still Division 2. Previously we pushed through the top and bottom side of the highway, now we're going to be attacking the highway itself. I've set up an attack here, we have bombarded both the 1st 215th and 1st 195th assault regiments and that's going to be isolating the 2nd uh, 195th assault regiment. They can still be backed up by this unit which does have quite a lot of support weapons by the looks of things. IGs, that's IG 18s, IG 33s, some pack 40s. That's pretty nasty actually. This unit however, I mean they're actually pretty elite units. Sturmschützen, uh, normal Schützen. Ooh, that's nasty stuff. Nasty stuff indeed. What do we have though? We have a lot of close range infantry. So we've got flamethrowers. We've got some Stavovniki with the longer range machine gun capability. And then we have some tanks and we've also got the ISU 122s. Oh, okay, interesting. I'm actually tempted to kind of wait to attack here. We might do it next turn because then at least I can pull in the guards rifle regiments that actually have decent long range infantry like the uh, Gavardia with DPs and the normal Gavardia squads. Those would be much more useful for taking out this regiment I think because we're going to struggle at long range against all of these MGs otherwise. Also, I'd like to have the bombers available. I think for this middle attack here, we should probably rely quite a lot on our air force. We won't do that attack. Uh, I think we'll just move on to the next turn. Thirty fifth Guards individual heavy tank regiment is available with eighth guards rifle corps. Thirty fifth guards individual heavy tank regiment okie dokie that's over here they have is2s very nice i am kind of tempted to just bring in another infantry regiment though i guess we could maybe bring in both uh, let's bring in those and can we bring in these as well which one's better? I think they're probably both more or less the same. Well, there is another regiment here we can bring in, but it doesn't look like we can bring them in anywhere. Or maybe we can bring them at the back. We can. Let's bring those in. More tanks. And... I think tanks for the most part will be the stuff we need. I think I'm going to back up that top side. So we'll bring in all of these lot. They can all move uh, like so. Zoom up this road. And help out here. Meanwhile, the IS-2s can come right up the main highway and get to the front line. <laughs> That's going to be disgusting for them to go up against. Right, meanwhile, uh, can we bombard again? Oh, we actually can't. Hmm. That is a problem, because now if we attack, these units might be able to come in, although they don't have the points to come in in phase A, so that might give us a little bit of breather. We can also attack down here, there is the Panzergren Regiment. That's actually not a very big regiment though. We could crush that very quickly. And that would allow us to encircle this bottom side, especially if we push through here as well. What's this regiment like? Yep, that's uh, pretty lackluster as well. I could even go as far as to bombard this regiment so that when we make this attack, they can only be reinforced by artillery. Which might not be very fun <laughs> because the AI will no doubt spam it to death, but it could be a good way to make some ground. Do we have any units that can go fast at all? We have these guys, they can bring in 120mm mortars, so maybe what we do is we only bring in one of these. Let's do that. We'll bring in that one, that one, and do we bring in an air force again? Hmm. 
because we're only going to be engaging three regiments. I think not. Maybe we just engage with what we have here. May as well push them into the attack, I think. Because they won't be able to attack anything after anyway. Alright, let's go. Tactical battle. Put it in the player perspective. Just loads of infantry will just charge them down. True Soviet style attack. Didn't see if they had defenses set up. If they're entrenched, it might be a little bit difficult, actually. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, here we go. So. We'll grab these Gvardia. I can zoom up on the left-hand side. More there. Push some more here. Just going to have lots and lots of Gvardia. Push for all these close points and then we'll spread out from there. Okay, that's pretty much it for what I want to do for the infantry. But I mean, we have only infantry, so we may as well just keep pushing up where we can. Uh, let's just bring in a couple of those to these areas. It really does depend on the defenses. It's going to be hard to overcome. We do have mortars, so we can mortar defenses if we have to. I might bring in mortars for each of these pushes and maybe we can do something with those. Might need more than one in each area. Okay. That'll do. Uh, looks like they're going to be pushing up there as well. Cool. I don't see... Oh, I was going to say I don't see defences, but they do have defences. There's going to be MG bunkers somewhere. Oh, mortaring there. That looks like it's going to be like here, maybe. I'm going to unload them early. Have them run across. Let's unload here because there's definitely units ahead of us. Okay, time for a couple more infantry units. These can drive through and surrender all of these units when we get close. Is that artillery? Or is that like an IG? It looks like an IG or something. Oh, we have planes coming in. Shit. Spread out, boys. Gonna have Stukas bombing my ass all day. That's gonna be fun. Alright, we best get a move on then. I think that IG uh, might have been the thing causing me issues on the right hand side. I just mortared my own unit there. That's that was classic, classic Vulcan that is. Uh, let's carry on with our Gavardia here. We are going to be continually strafed by the good old JU-87s because we have no AA. Uh, big oversight on my part. So we're just going to have to charge into them. 
Hope for the best. Quite simply my strategy here, guys. Bring in as much infantry as I can. Charge it into the enemy. And every time we want to win a point, we use mortars. That's the plan. And that killed an infantry squad, that's good. One node here. I don't see many defences, like there's no... Nothing too scary that we've actually come up against. Oh, there is a bunker there, but it's an AT bunker. Where are the MG bunkers then, I wonder? Oh, there's one on the right hand side, massacring my infantry. Let's just pretend that isn't happening. And uh, we'll unload these lot, push them up as well. Lovely. Alright, uh, what next? Uh, we need to get the mortars here far and away on that. Uh, this mortar can come up and unload. I uh, will mortar these guys. I need to mortar that MG. I need to mortar that MG. I guess I could probably just unload these Avtos and have them charge forwards. Fine, we'll eventually pin down that pack. I mean, this is really rough. Really, really rough. Not used to playing with absolutely nothing. But hey, we'll give it a good go. A lot of units are going to die. Miserable, horrible deaths. I think best bet to do with this would actually be smoke it. Because the MG bunk is probably the only thing that's actually stopping us from making ground. What those got there, actually? There's so many infantry squads, I don't think they have enough to stop us. I think that's actually a thing. And it doesn't matter how many planes they bring in. I don't think it's going to be enough. Uh, so I'm, I'm actually just going to use smoke for the most part. And we can just get up in their face and not have to care. Unload these. Yeah, we're losing some infantry without unloading, but... For the most part, it's all good. Keep that smoke up, keep the charge coming forwards. Nice and easy. Anything we come across will just get mown down by machine gun fire. Uh, we don't need units to be together like this though. Otherwise when the bombers come in, we will lose all of them. Oh, they're bombing the buildings, that's fine. I moved the wrong one. <laughs> Oops. Classic Russian strategy, boys. Smoke and run. Smoke and run. I could bring in some snipers with me. I think I'd just like to throw some more Avtomachiki onto the pile, though. So let's go ahead and do that. Keep charging forwards, boys. Uh, we need that smoke on the right-hand side again. These guys need charge up there. I could probably double smoke that side. And uh, then we can assist with more infantry. Let's 
Well, they can see my mortar. And it's very dead. We're actually making ground, though. Like, this is working. Slowly, but surely. Actually, it might have been faster than some of my other attacks. Just because I'm being so YOLO with it. If I unload my snipers in relatively sensible positions, they could probably cover cover us quite well. Due to the sheer amount of units that are being used. I do need to smoke that. Smoke that bunker for me. Smoke whatever that is. Maybe not. I'm going to unload those avtos and have them kill the bunker. Okay, enemy defences are crumbling. That's good to hear. Let's unload all these lot. Uh, where's my smoke when I need it? That's all good. Uh, let's uh, smoke that hill as we push up. And uh, we'll go and push through here. That's all good. I might even just chill here, actually. Jump in all these buildings. Play it defensively a little bit. Otherwise, they're just going to get bombed. Let's have that uh, unit move back so that we preserve it. And these ones can continue forwards. Been very sloppy battle, but it's working. It's working a treat. Uh, that smoke is covering off half of the line. Just need to get on top of that MG bunker and then that's all good. Alright, a couple more points and we pretty much win. Just got to ignore all of these airplanes. And find me some more troops. There's some avtos. of our command squads but the reason I'm not using command squads is just kind of more valuable we don't have as many of them I could also just throw some Kanaya Razvedka up there they might get the job done I wonder if those Aftos can make it to the bunker there that would be cheeky Alright, keep going, men. Keep going. Keep charging forwards. No stopping this train. Captured that point. Mine and defeats in five minutes. Let's uh, just continue pushing through on this side. Just need to crawl past the line of sight of that MG and then we're good. Obviously, I might just be able to have these guys go past. I don't think that MG can do too much there. That's good. I'm going to take out those. That means we can get into the edge of this town. We've managed to get into there, which is quite something. Push across from there as well. Oh, is that an IG? It looks like it. Uh, let's unload these lot and uh, push them across like so. Alright, we're 16 to 8. I mean, if we can make it maybe one more, I think potentially we get the major defeat, which would be fantastic. 
Especially considering how many units we've just thrown away in this attack. <laughs> but uh, I guess we'll see. There's a perfect soundtrack coming to mind. If you guys are on the same wavelength, put the name of the song in the description and I'll tell you if you're right. It's a classic old school song. The song name begins with let and it ends with floor. Uh, we might have to actually fall those ones back. I don't know if that was too obvious now. <laughs> Let's get uh, right up into this point. If I can push across, that'd be fantastic. Yeah, so we've definitely got good control on one side of this. Let's just come up here and unload. We're 18 to 7. It's almost, almost major. If we take this point, it's major defeat for the enemy, which makes them route, which would be perfect. Honestly, I should probably just keep attacking that with the snipers. The snipers do a great job of pinning down those bunkers. Yeah, we're 18 to 6 now. I'm going to have those stop and not auto cover. Fantastic. Right, I'm breaking down my units over here. Uh, let's maybe just push up like so. We'll leave some units here. I mean, if we keep moving, the artillery is kind of ineffective, which is what's happening at the moment. There's just not enough planes to stop us. Right, I've nearly, nearly got rid of that. That's good. Alright, have those set up on there, that's fine. That just needs to come through. That artillery hits hard. Right, if we can take out these two units, I think we secure this objective. Because I can get in the trench after that. And then they can't they won't be able to push us out from the trench. They might be able to with like a bombing strike or something, I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Uh, let's just leave this one here and uh, put him on reserve fire. He can hold that for us. 15 seconds left. Major defeat for them. Wow. What a battle. What an incredible battle that was. <laughs> I enjoyed that one a lot. Just against all odds. Just throwing ourselves into the fire. Very nice. Major victory. Let's see how many losses we took. Oh my. Oh, well, she wasn't too bad. Wow. Okay. It was like almost equal in kills and losses. Nice. That looks so much worse than it actually was. I guess a lot of our squads actually survived, so there's that. We will have routed those divisions, and that's nice. We've uh, broken through on the far right side. I think I'm just going to have this one in tr uh, dig in. And, well, we could probably attack here as well. What do these guys have? they got Panzerschreck teams. There's actually not many infantry here. Actually, in saying that, they've got uh, lots and lots of Panzergrens. Are we in range? I was going to say to bombard this unit, but I don't think we are. So, that's not happening. But we can press through here. Should probably get rid of some of these artillery regiments and stuff, though. We could maybe attack this Panzergren regiment. What does that do? The anti-aircraft uh, battalion is ordered to deploy. The order requires one turn 
complete turn to be made. When the battalion has been deployed, it will engage all air squadrons crossing its defense perimeter. It basically denies the area to enemy aircraft. It takes one turn to deploy. And what I could do is just push that all the way up and, and use it like here, maybe. And that might stop any aircraft from attacking this or I don't know. How do I want to do that? A lot of decisions that have to go into all of this. Can we attack these guys? We can. So we can, I think, destroy these routed units. We'd need to choose one from A though. So let's take this unit. Do tactical battle. Yeah, it just destroys them. We're out of range to attack that one. We're in range to attack that one though. Uh, we may as well destroy them if if we can. So I think we select that unit and push through like so. That does leave this unit a little bit too far forwards, but that's okay. All right. Next up, what we want to do, I think, is attack down here. We can't bombard anything, so we're going to just have to take the fight. But I think it'll be okay. If we attack the Panzer Grenadier Regiment, they don't have that much to bring in. And then their reinforcements will come in at B. So if we make this quick enough, we could definitely break through very, very hard with a couple of these uh, Guards Rifle Regiments. Uh, they've used their bombers, so I don't think we have to necessarily worry about them again. So I'm probably just going to YOLO into this with all my guards rifle regiments. Okay. Let's jump on in. Set it up for player control as always. That way we can set the suicide marches. <laughs> this is the Soviet way of doing things, guys. It's a smaller map as well. This is going to be much easier. Wow. Okay. Uh, so uh, what we could do, I actually have a really funny idea. I don't know if it's going to work, but you might get the idea from what I'm placing down. <laughs> I wonder if this will work. I'm genuinely curious. We completely outnumber them. So we will find out, I guess. Who needs transports, guys? I'll throw some avatars in there. We have bodies for the machine guns to soak up. And we'll have the snipers hang out behind. Because if we use the hunt order, they'll use cover for the most part. That's a lot of avatars. We don't get these guys till phase B. Alright, let's launch the battle. Yeah, see, we'll do, it will do that. I guess if we, we actually do like them in segments, might be a better idea. Like so. Maybe not as spread out as I'd like. Have some go up the left side. That's all right. All right, with our first tick, I'm probably going to bring in some mortars. I think we need something to take out these STKZ seven or ten fours. So we'll go to the support group. We'll bring in a couple mortars to speed it up. And I am going to get pretty close to them soon with the units anyway, so we'll start being able to engage them with the machine guns, but I need to unload these, start mortaring them. Speed it up a little bit. There we go. Machine guns are starting to do their work anyway. <laughs> My infantry just charge across the open. Hear the sniper firing behind. Oh, 
Okay, we'll have uh, those mortars continue up. If there's anything we bump into that's a problem, we can mortar it. There's no defenses because they weren't entrenched, so there's that as well, which is really helpful. We just got to make as much ground as we can in phase A. Because they really don't have enough to defend the line. That's why I'm doing this like crazy charge. Need to get my machine guns on target here. These are all units that engage at 100 meter range. I guess potentially what we could have done is just had them all in their trucks and then just unload them one by one if we had to. Because I feel like there's a lot of areas of this map that aren't currently defended. I have no idea why they're going that way. I guess because they came in on this control point, so it'd be faster to use the roads. Alright, we need to mortar that. I do need to mortar that as well. In the future. I also need to mortar this IG-18. We'll have to do that with my uh, next set of units. And one of my Gavardia died. Not good. Right, support group. Get those mortars in. Start firing away onto that IG-18, although it might get killed anyway because our, we are in range with our MGs, so... Well, this unit probably will get killed. Ooh, losing some Abtos here. That's not smart. Get into the buildings, lads, because you're going to get chewed up and spat out. I wonder if my Avtos can get close enough. This Avto unit can get close enough. I'm not sure if that's going to be fired on. Oh, I did. Hmm. It's annoying. When it re-aimed there, I probably should have noticed. Oh, well. Not the end of the world. We need those mortars to hit that IG. Need a couple more mortars on this side. Bring those in. Got more Avtos dying before I unload them. That's clever. It's kind of working. It's uh, definitely kind of working. That's uh, one of their big guns taken care of. Uh, push forwards over here. And over here as well. Keep those pushes going.
And I already stopped firing. So I go for this battery fielder. Compact 40 is very dead. Okay, good. Nice. Push through to that point. Continue up here. Uh, probably need some more to that again. And on this side, I do need to probably mortar that IG still. Let's hit the SDK of Z7. We're 13 to 11. Let's see if we can make this a major defeat for the enemy. In which case, they will rout again. And we can continue to crush through. The thing is, it's almost phase B. So I might want to start setting up defenses, really. Because what's going to happen is they're going to charge in with loads of extra units. Can leave those Aptos there. We can push all the way across the river, I think. Just move those up to there, like so. These are continuing across the open as well. I'm surprised that these haven't engaged us directly. Maybe they can't see us. Maybe they have recon. I feel like if they did engage us directly, we would just lose an engagement massively. I need some stuff to get across the open here. Uh, let's not bring in Abdul Majiki for the open range engagements. Let's just bring in some machine guns. That will have to do. Yeah, I wonder if this uh, will fire at us if the sniper gets on target. Hasn't yet. We're 17 points in our favour now. Eighteen points, we just took the one in the open. That's good. Gonna hopefully take this one on the right hand side. More to that unit and the MG. We're in phase B. You'll see loads of units just charge towards us now, I think. wonder if I can get into those buildings. That would be pretty cool if we could. Unload these and keep pushing up. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> we do have our own reinforcements that we can bring in. But let's go ahead and do that. This reinforcing regiment, I think, is pretty beat up. Right, we can still make ground, I think. This Cavalier can just go back here. These guys can unload. Push them forwards in the open. Good. Let's have that move forwards. Keep my mortars coming up. Appari can move forwards. That unit can move forwards. These guys can move forwards. Okay, we're getting into relatively decent positions here. We're 20 to 4 on the map. It'll be over in 1 minute and 18 seconds. So. I think we've probably done it. Might not have got too many kills, but certainly... Won the battle very quickly and took a bunch of ground. Which is good, so maybe if we can kill some more units, I would like to. Right, if I can get on top of this MG squad, for example, maybe take out the pack 40. Those sorts of kills would be nice. 
Although we might not need to get those kills if we rout these uh, regiments. That's always an, an opportunity that we have after winning a battle like this. <laughs> that poor little machine gun squad got decimated by the artillery. They still have like massive artillery. So like it was a squad like this that was pulling their thing forwards, get smashed by a big old gun like this. I swear to go God, those guys are macho sometimes. And that's it, that's victory. Lovely. Twelve minutes and forty nine seconds, exactly what we want to see. And thirty nine kill thirty seven kills to nine losses. And that was a, a charge strategy. <laughs> Try that out for yourself, guys. <laughs> Awesome stuff. So depending on the units that joined, we might be able to route a bunch of them. Oh, we just decimated that unit. It just got, it got crushed. It didn't even matter. That's nuts. And now we can just kill these. Oh, wow. Yeah, if we just engage with that battalion, we destroy it. Ho, oh, ho, ho. That is quite something. Incredible. Wow, okay. And unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So I am going to leave it here. Really nice couple battles today. We've uh, continued to push our salience forward. That was an incredible battle. Uh, we can probably do the same down here next turn. We can destroy these routed regiments. This can be really, really good. Now yeah, we're in a fantastic spot. Just need to reinforce the top side so that we can continue to push through. And then we can encircle the highway and uh, push in from the front. Although, once my heavy tank regiment's ready, we will we'll probably attack with them. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.